All right, everybody, welcome back. We are on level two of lesson six, variables and if statements. Um, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to be creating a checkerboard. The variable block is short for variable, or okay, the VAR, VAR, block is short for variable, which can store a value to be used throughout your code. For example, if you wanted a lot of objects to have the same color, you could set the color to a variable and then reuse that variable every time you wanted to use that color. Let's use this idea to create a checkerboard on the screen with alternating colors. Do this. Look at the top of the code, which has several var or var blocks. I'm just going to call them variables. Edit the colors and numbers on the right side of the blocks to make the app match the picture to the right. You should only need to change the color and numbers. You won't need to add any new blocks to your code. So when we see this line right here, that tells me that we need to close the toolbox. Let's not complicate our lives. Let's not try to add anything we don't need to add. It's gone. We can focus on what's in front of us. All right, and already, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Do you guys see this? I see 54 lines of code. All right, so we want to be able to change something once or twice. We don't want to have to change it 54 times. All right, so let's get into this. So we're going to try and change it from over here, which is what we have, to over here, which is slightly different. Um, let's start with the colors. So this color is orange. Uh, this color is black. So where it says var color one gets orange, we're going to change orange to black. All right. So if I run this, there we go. We've got black, uh, instead of orange. So let's reset it. And instead of teal, aqua, uh, cyan, we're going to change it to red. All right. So we're going to come in here. So var color two gets cyan. We're going to change this to say red. All right. So we're going to run. We're going to, there we go. We've got our black. We've got our red. Now we have to change the width and the height. So we're going to reset that again. Um, so there's three going down and there's four going across. So what do we have here? We have 100, we have, uh, yeah, we have zero at the top. And we have 450 at the bottom. Right now it is 70. I'm thinking in my head. Um, you know what? I could do the math, but I think I'm just going to wing it. And let's see what we end up with. All right, so it's more than 100. Let's try 150. All right, there we go. We know that it's going to be 150 uh, going from top to bottom, so on the y-axis. Now let's look at the width. We've got four going across. Um, let's try 75. Reset, run. Oh, we are really close, but we're not quite there yet. There shouldn't be any white at all. So we're going to go back. We're going to try 80. You know what? Let's try 80 first. There we go. We've got it. So the width for each block is going to be 80. The height is going to be 150. Um, and instead of me having to go through and change it on 54 lines of code, I only had to change it once. So that is nifty. Um, so we're going to click on the orange finish button and I will see you on level three.